Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm in my car today because uh, it just happens to be where I am. But I was thinking uh, last night actually, and this morning again, after listening to someone recount a uh, an experiment, it was part of a sermon, so it had a purpose about talking about hope, but it was an experiment on rats that basically uh, talked about wild rats and how after the the scientists, lab attendants, whatever, did things to to give the rats hope. You know, they they were tender to them and they cleaned them up and they fed them and this kind of thing. And the rats, in essence, had a feeling or an expectation that it wasn't just the end for their life, that it changed how well they could perform in physical feats. In this case, it was swimming. They would swim longer. They wouldn't give up so soon. And it, it made me think of the a line in a song, it was a Christian song, where it says, it's always dark before the dawn. And I was pondering that, you know, it's like God created a, a cyclic system for us to teach us to always hope. It's day and then it's night, night comes, it's a time for us to rest. Obviously there's a, a physical aspect and a mental aspect that we need to rest, but the day comes again. It's dark. Oh no, it's dark. Sometimes the darkness, especially when you're a kid, you know, you're afraid of the dark or something like that. The darkness is scary. The darkness is dangerous. The uh, In times of darkness, if you are dealing with an illness, sometimes when it's nighttime, it just feels worse. You know, it's just like it feels like you're alone, that kind of thing. But the dawn comes. The day always comes. That's not a message to say, oh no, there's darkness. It tells us if you're in darkness, light is coming. God has not abandoned us. He didn't leave us alone. You know, it also, maybe this is a little off track, but it made me think of a, a Star Trek The Next Generation episode when they had that character Q, who's supposed to be this intergalactic super being, and his, he was punished and forced to become a human. And they have a scene where he's like, I don't know what happened. I was just going about my business. And all of a sudden, I blacked out. And then I came to, you know, however many hours later. And they sort of chuckle at him and say, that's sleep. Your body needs to sleep. Well, that would be very strange to someone. It suddenly was dark to him. But the dawn was coming. He didn't realize there was a cycle. There was darkness that tries to invade, that tries to uh, interrupt lives. But God always has light. It's always bright and sunny above the clouds. If you're in a gloomy, sad day, understand that if you were to rise up, soar up to where God is, you draw up nearer to him, it's always bright and sunny in his world. There's always hope. There's always something God has to bring redemption. All we gotta do is keep coming back maintain hope, maintain expectation, and keep driving forward and learn more because God is good and he's got good things for us. Amen. Be blessed.